now we will solve problem on uh, parallelogram law forces uh, we will go through the problem the resultant of two forces one of which is double the other is 260 newton okay let me write the diagram for the same solution the resultant of two forces one of which is double the other is 260 newton i'll write force f1 and force f2 okay resultant of two forces one of which double the other means if i take f1 is equal to f f2 becomes equal to 2f e is how much 260 newton r is equal to 260 newton okay so this is case one okay this is case one okay now if the direction of the larger force is reversed and the other one remains unaltered the resultant reduces to 180 newton okay this is case two i'll add the diagram force f1 what it says is the direction of the larger force is reversed means f2 is the larger force which is having magnitude of 2f correct so i will change the direction f2 is equal to 2f okay direction of the larger force is reversed and the other one remains unaltered then the resultant reduces to 180 newton okay now the resultant reduces to how much r is equal to 180 newton 180 newton so this is case 2 case 2 okay determine magnitude of the forces means we need to find the magnitude of force f1 and f2 and angle between the forces let us take theta as angle between the forces so we need to find f1 f2 and the angle theta okay now i'll consider first case case 1 case 1 see for case 1 f1 is equal to how much f1 is equal to f f2 is equal to 2f and resultant force is equal to 260 newton okay we know the formula of uh, resultant force that is r is equal to root of f1 square plus f2 square f2 square plus 2f1 f2 cos theta okay so resultant force is 260 newton is equal to root of f1 is f plus f2 is 2f whole square plus 2 into f1 is f f2 is 2f into cos theta cos theta therefore squaring on both sides squaring on both sides 260 square 260 square means uh, you will get around uh, uh, 67,000 let me check 67,600 okay 260 square value is 67,600 is equal to square root gets cancelled when you apply the square f square so here f whole square f square plus 4f square plus 4f square cos theta therefore the final equation is 5f square plus 4f square cos theta is equal to 67600 call this as equation number 1 okay similarly we will consider case 2 use the same formula you will get one more equation like this solving both the equations you will get the value of f okay now consider case 2 case 2 for case 2 what is the value of f f is equal to means f1 is equal to f f2 is equal to minus 2f this is very important okay he says that the direction of the larger force is reversed when the direction of the larger force is reversed then its sign will also changes therefore f2 is equal to minus 2f so this is important you need to take the 
negative sign for the force F2 and the resultant result reduces to 180 Newton. 180 Newton. Okay. So in the same formula, we will substitute uh, all the values. 180 Newton is equal to 180 is equal to root of F1 square that is F square plus F2 square minus 2F1 square plus 2F1 F2 cos theta 2 into F into minus 2F into cos theta okay again squaring on both sides 180 square you will get uh, uh, its value as 32,400 32,400 30, is equal to square it gets cancelled when you take the square f square plus minus 2f into minus 2f plus 4f square 4f square minus 4f square cos theta okay so the final equation for case 2 is 5f square minus 4f square cos theta is equal to 32,400 call this as equation number okay now we have to solve both equation 1 and 2 so we will add both the equations okay first equation is 5f square plus 4f square cos theta 5f means adding equation 1 and 2 5f square plus 4f square cos theta is equal to 67600 this is equation 1 so, equation 2 is 5f square minus 4f square cos theta is equal to 32,400. Okay. Now plus 4f square minus 4f square gets cancelled. 5 plus 5 is 10f square. 10f square is equal to 67,600 plus 32,400. It will be 1 lakh. Okay. Therefore, f square is equal to 10,000 therefore square root taking square root on both sides f is equal to square root of 10,000 means you will get 100 newton f is equal to 100 newton now if you get the value of f you can solve for f1 and f2 because f1 is equal to f f2 is equal to 2f therefore therefore f1 is equal to f is equal to 100 newton and f2 is equal to 2f is equal to 2 into 100 that is 200 newton okay yeah. now we got the f1 and f2 so there is one more question in the problem that is uh, angle between the forces theta we need to find to find theta what you can do is you can substitute the value of uh, force f either in equation 1 or equation 2 you will get the angle theta okay substitute substitute the value of substitute the value of force f okay in equation 1 in equation 1 you can substitute the value of f in equation 2 as well okay you will get the same angle equation 1 is 5f square plus 4f square cos theta 5 into f is 100 square plus 4f square 100 square cos theta is equal to 67600 okay so 4 into 100 square is 40000 cos theta is equal to 67600 minus 5 into 100 square is 50000 50000 okay therefore cos theta is equal to 67,600 minus 50,000 means 70,600 17,600 divided by 40,000 okay so cos theta is equal to value of this RHS is, is 0 0.44 and theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.44 if you solve for theta you get the angle theta as 63.9 degrees Okay, so this completes the problem. Okay, thank you.